Hello, so we are officially five days out. I can't believe it. Um, we just have to make it through the weekend and my due date is on a Tuesday. So I have no idea if this baby is coming early, on time or late. Um, some days I feel like I'm having lots of contractions but nothing else is really happening. And then there's days like today where I haven't had any contractions at all and I feel like, hmm, maybe I'll go to my due date. So we'll have to see. What I wanted to do today was tell you guys what I put on my Target registry as a second time mom. So my son was born a little over two years ago and we obviously have a lot of things that he used when he was a baby that we held on to that we're able to use again this time around. But there was some things that we need double of. There's some things that we didn't have and some things that I needed to replace. So I just wanted to go through and tell you guys what I put on my Target registry as a second time mom. So in mom of two fashion, my son just woke up from his nap, so we're gonna see if he wants to hang out while we talk a little bit about what we put on this registry. Here we go. So one of the first things I put on was uh, baby booties. There are tons of opinions on people whether they like baby booties or socks or nothing at all. I actually didn't have any trouble getting him to wear baby booties, so I'm gonna give it a try again. This time I registered for the Gumi Baby Drop boots in zero to three months. Um, they're called gray, but they're white with like gray and white kind of grippy sole. Um, and so I wanna give those a try. They have Velcro, which is definitely a must. All things Velcro. Um, or zippers is super helpful um, just with getting things on making things tighter uh, it helps a lot I also registered for a container of draft newborn stage baby um, laundry detergent so I've used um, the honest brand before and draft and um, it all depends on your baby's skin and sensitivity, so I kind of leave that up to each his own, but you definitely are going to need more newborn detergent because he, we're already washing his clothes with our, well not with our clothes, but with the same laundry detergent we use Tide Free and Clear in our house. I registered for, um, lots of different swaddles. So I put him in a swaddle every single day and most of the time I did it with a muslin blanket and that's great. I became a pro at swaddling with a muslin blanket but one thing that I've heard about having your second or subsequent child is that you don't necessarily have all the time in the world to get a perfect tight snuggly swaddle. So I wanted to register for some swaddling blankets that have Velcro or zip closures. So I registered for the two pack of Swaddle Me Original Swaddle in zero to three months, and that has um, Velcro. So it should be pretty easy to slide baby in, Velcro her shut, and she'll be nice and tight in her swaddle. I also registered for the Love to Dream Swaddle Up, which is a transition swaddle. You can have the baby swaddle completely with their arms tucked in, and you can also change it where they have one arm out or two arms out, and that's really great for when they start wanting to not be completely swaddled, which is obviously really hard to do in a muslin blanket, but I'm really excited to try this swaddle up so I can see how the transition out of swaddling goes. I also registered for two newborn pacifiers and these are the Philips brand Avent Soothy for zero to three months. 
and um, he still has a pacifier. I don't give him a hard time because I actually had my pacifier until I started kindergarten and I'm sure his dad won't have him with a pacifier for that long. So I definitely wanted to get something um, so the baby can self-soothe. I also registered for uh, towels. So he had um, a few, you know, a good number of um, baby sized towels and I found that the ones that I got the first time around were really thin and after a few washes they just didn't feel like anything I really wanted to wrap him in. So I registered for a Just One You uh, brand by Carter's which is at Target and this is the baby girls sheet bath towel set so it's two towels one is solid with like a little sheep hood with little ears and then the other has pink printed sheep sheep on it so that's pretty cute another thing i never used with him that i definitely plan on instituting is a smock bib my cousin introduced me to these and it's basically just a whole smock. You put their arms in it, it goes down their front, it ties in the back, and it is way better than just a bib. He hated wearing bibs, so we ended up just having to feed him by taking his shirt off or feeding him in something that we didn't care if it got dirty, and it was a huge mess and lots of cleanup. So I'm really hoping I can get into the habit of wearing this full smock. And the smock that I registered for was the Bumpkins brand heart pattern bib, and it's white with black hearts on it. I also registered for some uh, Burt's Bees brand burp cloths in just, you know, assorted colors. And I have a few burp cloths left that are just repurposed uh, cloth diapers. And I just thought it would be fun to have some uh, burp cloths that were cute and patterned. So when we go out, I have something fun to pull out. The other thing that I register for that if you are a second or third, fourth, fifth time mom, you might not need, but ours actually stopped working towards the end of his time breastfeeding, and that was our bottle warmer. For whatever reason, our bottle warmer just totally fritzed out towards the end of Tripp's time nursing, and I definitely wanted to replace it. Um, I didn't love I didn't hate the one we had, I didn't love it either, so I decided to register for a different brand. And this time I registered for the Dr. Brown's Natural Flow Milk Spa Breast Milk and Bottle Warmer. And we used um, exclusively Dr. Brown's bottles, and we actually didn't use a Dr. Brown's bottle warmer, so I definitely wanted to try it this time. So I'm anxious to see how it works. It's got a really nice digital display, and ours did not have any of that before. I didn't register for a lot of bibs. I registered for one set of bibs by the Bebe Olay brand, and these are muslin bandana style bibs. So it's really more for fashion, and we have a lots of leftover bibs. So I know when we get to teething and spit up time. I'll have lots of hand-me-down bibs to use, which will be great, because you've got to change them often. The other thing I registered for, and this is definitely something as a second time mom that you realize goes a lot quicker than normal, is um, utensils. So if when you are having your first baby, you feel like, when will they possibly need a utensil? But you don't realize how quickly they actually get to a place where they can use spoon and then ultimately fork and spoon. So I registered for the Cloud Island brand three pack stainless steel um, with a like silicone grip um, set of three forks and set of three spoons. 
and when it comes to your kids you can really never have too much silverware or plates and bowls because having to wash every five seconds is not what anyone's trying to do so having a lot is really great so we'll definitely be stocking up on more of these which they can both use which is fabulous I registered for a handful of things for myself and mostly that was um, a nursing tank and a few nursing bras and also um, some nursing pajamas and the nursing tank that I chose was um, Isabel maternity for Target and it's basically just a black Cr crisscross tank top that just kind of opens and you can um, nurse. I did not buy a lot of nursing clothes the first time around. I mostly just wore button down shirts or just any t-shirt. You kind of get to a place where you're just like pull it up. And one thing that I do have is um, from Target or Bye Bye Baby, it's the nursing, it's the, uh, it's a nursing cover, but it's also a cover for your car seat. And that came in handy a lot because I'd have it around the car seat and then if I was out somewhere and needed to nurse in public, I could slip that over my head and nurse, which was great. Also, um, just kind of convenience things. Um, I registered for postnatal vitamins, um, the Nature Made brand. I registered for um, the Lanaso brand disposable nursing pads. I used those things literally every single day. So I definitely will know I'll be using them again. Um, there were a few things that we already had that we actually needed to double up on. So one of those was diaper pails. Um, we are slowly working on potty training this one, but he still has his diaper pail in his room. And so we knew that we didn't want to have to go back and forth if one baby was sleeping. Um, and so we went ahead and registered for a second diaper pail. And his diaper pail I actually got from Bye Bye Baby. And it was just something that I picked up. I didn't register for it. I don't know what I was thinking. So I picked it up and um, it was just super inexpensive. And so I wanted to try something different this time. So I registered for the Skip Hop nursery style steel diaper pail and it's pretty intense so i'm very interested to see how it actually works in real life because there are a lot of buttons and levers you have to push to get the diapers down there and it seems like it might be a lot of work so we'll have to see how that goes the other things that i registered for that are duplicates are a changing pad i needed an extra one of those in the baby's nursery and also the car seat base. We only had one car seat base, so you can imagine we were always having to transfer back and forth between cars. And so when I started to make my registry this time around, I knew that was the number one thing on my registry was an extra car seat base. This is the base that we had before. We bought another and I am super happy.